Normally, I take the weather forecast in Ireland with a pinch of salt. You see, in my opinion, weather forecasters have the easiest job here. A prediction of cloudy with a chance of rain will work for 90% of the time. For the past couple of days, however, we were seeing and hearing of an Arctic blast that was due to come through Ireland. Where's the shoot? And on this occasion, they were going to be correct. It was Baltic, for sure. And not only was it cold, it was extremely windy. Pete Burton's your man heading the shot. That's the way it's to Don't even exist, look. Huh? They don't even exist. It's like the Matterhorn he put up there. Who did? It's like the Matterhorn he put there. Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah, yeah. Who did? The one pillar we're talking about. <laughs> So windy, in fact, that for this video, I'm not going to add any music. Instead, I'm going to leave you with the sounds of the wind and, of course, the many nuggets of conversation that typically accompany a photography adventure with my wingman, Dermid. He is always there to entertain and lighten the mood. I'm not joking, because of the wind and the cold, a tear literally just fell out of my ear. My ear? <laughs> my eye! <laughs> the acid in the ankles. <laughs> you see, hard there, I'd let you off. I do hope you enjoy this form of video. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And then yesterday, right, I was uh, getting something out of my clothes bag and the Budweiser were in there. I was like, oh, I'll put them in the fridge now. They were colder in the bag than they were in the fridge. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And also welcome to Pine Island, otherwise known as Derry Clare Lock in the heart of Connemara. A place that is absolutely stunning to photograph when you have no wind, when you have flat water and you've got direct sunlight none of which of course i have today we stayed here last night after our trip to Ackill island and we decided to come here in the hope that with the cold weather that we wouldn't have had any wind but alas that wasn't the case and even this morning waking up took a look out the back window of the van and i could see that you know the water here was rippling still as it's rippling right now there was no light either from the sky so we decided to not get up and not go photograph but now that it's probably around about 10 a.m., you know, the sun is high enough, even though it's not direct light, it's giving some bit of light. You can see the mountains that are there behind us. It would be kind of rude of us not to photograph when we are here. So yeah, welcome to this week's vlog, photographing Pine Island in all of the wrong conditions. Oh Jesus, my power things, man. Yeah, but you're grand, I'm only recording. Be roll, come in, you're grand. I was just recording, putting the camera on. It's a fall, it's normal, isn't it? So I have set up my camera now here in my first, uh, probably only two compositions I'm going to take from this here today. I came down first and foremost to the small bit of a shore area, and what I noticed is that was a bit too low. So the trees that were there were actually going above the mountain. So I wanted to come back up with a slight bit of an elevation so that I could have the trees and then the mountain coming above the uh, scene. Now, I've taken my first shot, which is the standard um, one, one fiftieth of a second, I think it was. And that's okay, but you can see all the ripples that are in the water. And like I said, ideally, this place is stunning when you get flat cam water to so get nice reflections. So I popped on my um, big stop there, my 10 stopper and I've gone for a 20 second exposure. The light is nice, but there's no direct light. It's kind of 
diffused light that's covering the entire scene but still nonetheless I still think you know it's nice to be here like I said be kind of rude not to take some photographs when we're here anyway I'm going to get the second one anyway here and just review it I might need to change it again but we'll see and then we're going to head over this direction here to the second composition there's a bit of a uh, a walkway or a jetty that comes out um, uh, towards Pine Island itself and it's nice to get down low on that so yeah these are my two shots there's my first one anyway I'll show you this now and then we'll take the brief walk over to composition number two I'm done So coming over now for my second composition, I've taken the shot actually a number of years ago and I was lucky enough to be able to have the flat water and it changes the scene completely. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take uh, two shots from here. I'm going to take one with the camera up high, I think you can see it uh, just here. Uh, I'm going to go for a long exposure on that because I want to try and smooth out the water. And then I'm also going to drop the camera down low uh, to try and bring more of a presence to the um, the pathway that runs out here to Pine Island. There is still no direct light, it's quite diffused still. And again, you know, this location here is a location that's easily accessible. It's in fact right next to the road. So that's where we would have parked up last night. And there's many cars and traffic and vans and everything else is passing here that see this beautiful view every single day. But for me, because I'm not here that often, we were here, it's like I said, we'll take the photographs, even if it is the worst conditions that you can take this in i think the scene itself is still nice anyway so yeah i'm going to grab these shots anyway here and i'll check back in with you once i get them and give you a quick synopsis on how the shoot went Right, I think I'm done here from this location, albeit a very, very quick visit. Like I said, the conditions weren't ideal, but nonetheless, still think I got some nice shots. I've ended up going down low there, taking some long exposures, also took some normal quick exposures as well. And there is one problem with this location is that there's some power lines that run from here directly across the scene. So it's either a choice of leave them in the image, which I don't really like. However, to take them out is a lot of work because you have to then take everything out within um, Photoshop. So it's a pain in the backside to be able to do it. I'm going to you know, finish up this episode. It's Baltic cold. I'm wearing two coats and my gloves. Pity there's no such thing as temperature vision there on these videos. You'll be able to see how cold it is. That Arctic blast that they forecasted to come through 
has actually hit us right now. It's been, you know, a great couple of days away with the camera. Thank you very much, as always, for joining me. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlange voll.